Playboy Cardi and 21 Savage just pulled off the biggest and probably the easiest heist in live streaming history, all within the span of a few days. Now, Aiden Ross, one of the biggest streamers in the world right now, sits at the center of all this as a victim. I know I've been going for like a month, but man, y'all know I had to come back for this one, bro. Let's just get into it. I'm not going to waste no time. All right, so I was on Twitter last night just scrolling like I usually do, and I saw a tweet about Trevor Scott and Playboy Cardi performing at the Grammys. I just thought nothing of it. I mean, who cares, right? I'm not a fan of either of them i'm be honest right and then right after this i see a tweet from an aiden ross fan page announcing this huge live stream with aiden and playboy cardi the first thought on my mind is that this is definitely not happening like we all saw the fake kim jong-un stream like bro you're not getting me again we're familiar with your game at this point plus you just got scammed by 21 savage for over hundred and twenty thousand dollars in front of your audience so in my mind i'm thinking he's trying to get this money back by just you know creating some controversy or whatever I ain't really think too much of it. I believe it when I see it type shit, like I said. Then I see a tweet from Aiden himself saying that he paid Cardi $2 million cash with a Ferrari to go with it. Like, there's no way this ends well. Let me briefly summarize the 21 Savage and Aiden Ross situation for those who missed out because I mentioned it before. 21 and Aiden were playing dice on stream, and after Aiden puts up 120,000 and loses it all, he inspected the back of all the cards to find some marks on them. For people that don't know the reason why people mark cards, they do it because they want to keep track of the good cards that's in the deck so they can have a higher chance of winning so aiden in his chat was stirring the pot implying that 21 savage cheated but this one doesn't have a scratch and it's a king i don't think you would do that bro yeah. Come on. nah they're scratched bro yeah, yeah. these these cards are both scratched like you see what i'm saying you see a little scratch right there right there yeah they all have scratches on it bro the face card see this one's on a face card doesn't have it look Every face card has a scratch on it. So bro. only the face cards have scratches. Watch. Right there, that's, there's the same scratch on the king. The ace have them too? Yeah, the ace has them too, bro. 21 denied having any prior knowledge of the cards being marked, and the two agreed to just let it go. Right after the stream ended, 21 called my phone, and uh, we spoke for like 20 minutes. And he was just saying to me, like, I got the wrong people around me and 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 I, I and I'm sorry about that, bro. It's just flat out embarrassing, and I'm not that at all. And you know, I, I I'm sorry, man, and all that all that stuff. And then he's like, send me your wire and phone. Make sure you have the wire in the morning. He came through on it. I got the full two hundred fifty the two hundred fifty thousand dollars, which is what we agreed on before starting the card game and before starting the dice, right? And the monkey. So we agreed on two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and because uh, that was his buyout, it was originally four k, but I was like, you want a buyout? And then yeah, so he gave me two hundred fifty thousand dollars sent to my sent to my. Um. So it's not cap. I literally have the wire uh, proof, but I got to blur our information. Now let's talk about how Playboy Cardi got away with the most blatant scam that I've ever seen in my life. Like this is just legal robbery. So Aiden flew across the country for the stream to happen, waiting over six hours for Cardi to actually show up. I also heard that Cardi almost canceled on Aiden, not surprising, and was doing a lot of moving around outside the view of the stream. This went on for about an hour after Cardi got in the building. When Cardi finally pulled up, he was dressed in some weird gimpy suit with a dark Vader mask on. It looked like if Mankind and The Undertaker could somehow procreate. This is a 30 year old man acting mysterious and they eat it up every single time it's like the lebron special move where he just spins the ball like you know he gonna shoot the ball but you just know like you know it you know what's gonna happen but you just can't stop it it's undeniable they fall for it every single time just like cardi fans man even after all this aiden gifted him two million dollars in cash with a smile on his face overall the stream lasted less than 10 minutes with cardi awkwardly dancing to a song of his and saying the words thank you and i love you for a majority of the time he cryptically spoke on his album in a few more words and left with a bag full of cash i just witnessed the easiest lick of all time love you love you thank you thank you love 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 you thank you so much for everything 2024 music. Thank you, Aiden Ross, too, for the hospitality. Uh, it's important that we have, like, you know, good bonds with the streamers. Follow Aiden, please. <laughs> thank you, bro. And thank you. Thank you so much. My very best. It's, it's, it's actually insane. 2024. Once again, thank you for everything, and I love you. I, you know, I wouldn't be here without anybody. So, thank you again. Aiden Ross, thank you. I got you, bro. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure. Back to the studio. 2024 music. You leave right now? Yeah. All 
All right, hold on, let me mute real quick. After the stream, Aiden was clearly upset about the whole thing, apologizing to everyone and even going as far as restricting access to the private jet that he got for Cardi to take home after the stream. Eddie, I got you, bro. I'm sorry. We'll talk. That's crazy. I'm sorry, bro. Like, I, I don't know what to say, Eddie. I don't know what to say. I'm really... Brady, whatever you need me to do, I'll stream 20 hours of day. I'll do a subathon. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, God. I feel horrible about it. I, I wish I would have known. That is crazy as Crazy. And I, Eddie, if I would have known, I would never let that happen. I'm sorry, bro. I waited four hours. I took a jet to LA from Miami when I have actual family going on. I'm about to, I'm literally going back to uh, to Miami tonight. I'm really sorry, bro, to everyone, bro. I really, I let the internet down. I let the world down. I'm sorry about that. I tried. I really tried. I waited. He came. I wasn't lying about him coming on. He said three words and left. And he got some of the money. I'm not going to lie, but he's not getting that full bag, Eddie. I'll text you about it. Yo, chat. I even got him a jet, bro. I, I swear to God, I, I paid for that out of my own pocket. I got Cardi a fucking a jet, bro. Back to back to home. Out of my own fucking pocket. I'm taking that shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm taking that jet. I'm going back home. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Guys, I'm sorry to anyone that's like, you fucking agreed to it. No, bro. He agreed to a whole hour of talking about music, his album music, and talking to his fans and TTS and all these things. And he didn't want to do it. So guess what? I'm not keeping my bargain deal. But I don't know why people are so surprised about what happened. Like the man literally did not show up for the birth of his own child and decided to play video games instead. He's been doing this for years and y'all still fall for it, man. He's definitely getting up to Kanye levels when it comes to deceiving his audience. The stream was so short. The video titled Aiden Ross and Playboy Cardi full stream was a whopping six minutes long. Like the editor probably ate a whole sandwich when he was cutting up these clips. For Aiden, the lesson to learn here is to know who you're getting into business with. Not everyone who decides to hop on your stream is there for you. Some just see you as an easy bag. And stop thinking that the people that you're clearly trying to benefit off of are not going to try and benefit in their own way. Like even after this whole situation, 21 Savage wasted no time calling wondering why he didn't get $2 million. Like niggas have zero shame at all. But that's all I got to say about this, man. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. It's Fargo and I'm out, man. I just hit a lick with a mask and I'm doing